Good afternoon, you're very welcome to the Tom Wallace Show. Uh, apologies for the technical difficulty beforehand. Uh, some gremlins in the studio got uh, uh, got rid of the, took the system off the air. But anyway, um, we're Damn gremlins. welcome back to Phelan and Sean, who were um, on business it's last great week. to be here. I missed it, I missed it a hell of a lot. How, how was I missed the buzz, I missed the... The, 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 the humdrum of the, the station. Drum, the rustle and bustle, the... The rustling of the leaves. The rustling. Did, did, you, did you listen... Russell. I'm sure you li- you tuned in to the uh, last week's show. How do you th- how do you think it went? I think I sounded fantastic yeah. after listening to myself from a distance. I think I think I have the perfect radio voice. That's nice. How about you, Fen? What? How about you? Oh, I I definitely listened to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, square, uh, DJ Square the Fly and Harry, how are you getting on this week? Yeah, doing pretty well. Yeah, a L- little bit um, ill. You're crazy. Ill. Pretty well, apart from the ill. Right. I'm just chilling like a villain. Okay. Yeah, I mean. All right, so um, as usual, we're going to start off with uh, the 6 o'clock news with Phelan Keeney. So take it away, Phelan. It's a uh, quarter past one, and you know what that means. It's time for the 6 o'clock news with Phelan Keeney. Dip, dip, dip. All right, we're going to start with some headlines. Anthrax was found in Brit- British cows, which is the first reported case since 2006. The owner of the cows began to suspect the cows with anth- anthrax when they began to remark that th- their smell was just to die for. Uh-huh. You know what else is to die for? Red meats. A new study finds that uh, processed and red meats are actually carcinogens, which means that I'll have to cut out the sausages with my morning cigarette, which sucks. Man. In response to this, the government have announced that they'll include a warning, warning picture similar to those on cigarette boxes and all packaging. Really? Y- yeah. Um, this one even ain't even fake. Uh, a dog named Trigger shot his owner in his foot in a bizarre incident. I only read the headline, so I don't know <laughs> what happened. Um, two peanuts were walking down Collins Avenue. One was assaulted. Oh! Oh, poor guy. Um, <laughs> poor peanuts. Oh, God. Dublin has been named the third best city according to a... Uh, according to in the world according to Lonely Planet um, a security officer dragged a female student from her chair for refusing to leave the classroom because hey females don't deserve education <laughs> that, that was brought, sent in by uh, Aoife Aoife Hodgins long time listener um, oh what a uh, nice anti-woman woman <laughs> I feel like DJ Scordy McFly has something to say I'm that pop cat in your ass boy Okay. Um, a new study shows a correlation between the drinks consumed around the time of a child's conception and their IQ and temperament. For example, uh, with gin, they'll be the victim of early onset arthritis. Champagne will mean they'll always wear suits. Um, if you drink whiskey at the conception, they'll be over 60 years old when, they can, when they're born. If you drink vodka, you'll, you'll have a tendency to burn people's faces with cigarettes. Um, or Jaeger bombs, they'll be a sexual offender. So, uh, there's that in the news. You know, um, Halloween is on Sunday night, or Saturday, Saturday, excuse me. Halloween is on Saturday, when it's finally acceptable for people to display pumpkins and the likes in their gardens. However, some people display pumpkins all year long, no matter the season, no matter how rotten the pumpkin is. And with us, we have one, one such people. Um, Jeremiah Blumkin, thank you for being here. <coughs> Sorry, I'm... What? What, Jeremiah, are you alright? <coughs> Sorry, just... If you do any do, do, do you need a, a van a, a, or a bag or something? Or uh, no. Oh, I think we should get. Uh, okay, just ask the question. A, a sick bag. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, just, just ask the questions. Oh God, you're drooling. Just, just ask, ask the questions. Okay, okay. Um, now why do you insist on having pumpkins all year long? Uh, just, they're, they're good for your health. <laughs> you can get away like you. <laughs> If you eat pumpkins... Have you been noticing health benefits from eating them? Because you don't seem to know. picture of health. This is just a bad day for me. <laughs> I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and then had a cold shower. Oh, God. It's all right. Um, okay. You know what? I think we're just going to cut it there. No, no, please. You're puking on the desk. No, no. These are electricals. 
when, is there, uh, it's very just, expensive electric. One more need, question. All right, take him out of the studio. Okay. I'm, no, no, please. Wait, one more question. Just, you okay, one more question. One more question. All right. Um, <laughs> just go ahead. You carve the pumpkins before you eat them. I don't know. What do you want me to ask? They, they all go pretty, pretty faces on them before you carve. Okay, just I'm just going to finish up right before personal news. Phelan's whale. New, oh, God. Oh, God. I think that's blood coming out of his mouth now. Oh. Okay, Phelan's whaling. I'll, I'll take you guys later. I built a boat. See you. Thanks for coming. I built a boat. No holes in it, I promise, this time, as opposed to Phelan's sail or Phelan's sailing. It's a different boat. I built another one. It doesn't have holes in it. And basically, we go off the coast of Scandinavia and Japan, and we just w find whales and we hunt them. And then, I don't know, we, we, we don't have the equipment to get them out of the water, so we just kill them and leave them there. But real cheap. Just a lot of. If you want in. I'll take you. I'm good boats. I I build good boats, and that's been the news, and stuff. I've been failing Kini. Thank you very much. Wow, just wow. Um, I was just curious about the sausages. The sausages. Like, yeah. Um, everything gives you cancer these days. Like you know, I just say you know, might as well just give me cancer right now because, like the way it's going, just I can't like drink from plastic bottles. I can't smoke cigarettes. You're I can't get it meat. anyway. Like yeah, I can't meat. Like what doesn't give me cancer? If you sit in a dark room made out of um, non-carcinogenic non plastic and you're never exposed to light and you're just sitting in a water bath. Yeah, actually, it. sunlight gives you cancer too. Like, what's the point? No, no I, that's you, what I do. When I'm not in the studio, I'm in the dark room. If you sit in, wa if you sit in water, though, like for error, you'll just shrivel up and then you'll probably you'll die. Yeah, but it's not reason. cancer. <laughs> but you'll still die. Yes, Paul. You, but will, I mean, you will still die regardless of No, but you'll, die, you like, you'll probably die quicker than would like than long cancer. Debatable. But I'll be in charge of it. This <laughs> Debatable. Week. Have you tested it? No. Then you can't say. Are that. you a doctor? <laughs> Maybe. No, Maybe, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Time you come. All right. So um, we're gonna go into a uh, break of the song. So DJ just gonna fly. What's on the agenda? Ah, uh, word. So uh, what's like my homie uh, Mr. Blumpkin over there? I'm fairly sure he knows how it feels to uh, not feel your face. So coming up right now, we have can't feel my face by the weekend. And you're back with the Tom Wallace show, and um, we're going to. Uh, what, what time is this again? What? what was that? Sean. Oh, Sean. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot about Sean and society for a sec. Thank you. Um, okay. You know, I appreciated that my <laughs> my segment goes yeah, that far under the radar that yeah, the host forgets about. Yeah, there was nothing in my mind that reminded me of that segment. Actually, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so hey, we're going to continue on, and uh, what's been on? The mind of Sean David Doyle this week. Um, yeah, so uh, Sean and society this week is on something that, you know, everyone, I think, has an issue with. And, you, you know, you either have an issue in a good way or a bad way, but everyone has an opinion, and frankly, it's a bit crazy. And uh, this week, it's on veganism. And ah. Hugh's eyebrows just popped like, oh, God, what's he going to say this week? <laughs> um, who's uh, who's yeah. this uh, Hugh Chop? Or DJ Squirts Mc fly or anyway so um so yeah now this is something that's bothered me to no end for years and frankly something i don't understand and i don't think makes a whole lot of sense mm -hmm. and that is veganism like it just it doesn't seem to go like alongside with most things that humans do so anyway uh this uh trend and i really hope it's just that like it's just a trend that something you know will pass uh, it's been getting more and more popular year by year and how like how yeah. it cannot be a comfortable experience for like people why don't you know, people just like meat yeah exactly you know it's it's good it's good for you it's like mm. tasty it's delicious yeah. <laughs> as we recently <laughs> learned it's well apparently so uh failing just well everything gives you cancer so i'm gonna throw that one out the window anyway throw so uh breathe, what sort of breathing gives you cancer yeah you know man you're breathing carcinogens all the time you know secondhand smoke yada 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 Anyway, so what sort of self-loathing idiots want to go against their own instincts? Like, because it is an instinct. It, you know, to eat meat, meat, eat meat, yeah. And um, at no point in evolution has anything pointed at uh, it being better off for humans not to eat with animal produce. Like, we've eaten animals since the dawn of time, and other animals eat animals with carnivores. Mm. That's the that's type of, we hunt, we eat meat, it's good for us. It's what our, like, digestive systems have, like, grown to, like... Eat. We, can, we can't eat grass anymore. Like our digestive system won't digest it. Yeah. Just so it goes to a point that our bodies are made for meat. Is it a case of um, 
vegans not want to eat meat because they love animals I, that's, or, that's my next point so uh, I want to bring up an issue like you know it's an issue with farming or like you know all oh, these animals are treated cruelly and like you know they feel bad for the animals and oh you know they were all pent up in cages and stuff like that and to that I say no you know you're being real stupid there just stop talking because uh, if you know just for a week you had to go out and get your own lunch as opposed to going down the shop and buy your own thing I'm pretty sure you'd like go out and hunt your own lunch you'd have no issue with farming you know say you go back 100 years and you had to or however many 100 years and you had to go out and hunt around the fields and farms and forests and look for your own food you know I'm pretty sure you'd have no issue with farming you know gathering animals in and breeding them yeah. for food in small spaces because it's convenient it's what makes things good and nobody wants to go out as I said and spend hours a day hunting for their food you know society couldn't progress if we were doing that so um, you know yeah you, if you had to go out and hunt your food you'd be 100% alright with farming so uh, yeah and then vegetarians seem to, the whole health issue thing as well vegetarians seem to get away with uh, uh, it because you know I suppose they have the extra stuff but I've yet to meet a vegan who's not on supplements who doesn't come across 100% malnourished and kind of you know seems to be falling apart you know or they have to be on some sort of supplements if mm. not they look like skinny and kind of skeletorial and you know what's the fact there though that you can like replicate exactly what meat gives you what or if you, you eat if you choose the vegetables you eat wisely yeah exactly like, like lentils and stuff. you I get everything <laughs> lentils <laughs> but I'm saying I've yet to meet a well, vegan who I think that just comes from place. anyway being ill-informed so <laughs> so uh so why anyway why d- you poor delusional meat deprived people please tell <laughs> me why I want to help you I want to help you find meat it's like finding God you just gotta find it so you know I'm saying that's I'm funny because neither of them exist <laughs> <laughs> well meat don't exist yeah I yeah, know, it's, it's an illusion. <laughs> anyway, guys, so, uh, yeah, please, any vegans listening, please call in, tweet us, Facebook us, tell me, because, you know, I, I want to know, I really do, and I've talked to you before, no one's ever struck me with a, you know, resoundingly good point, uh, because, you know, in my humble opinion, we all have to do something, it's not just down to the vegans, it's up to us mediators yeah. as well to help them, get them out, kill this trend, you know, stop it in its tracks. You know, we do have to stop this Kill rapidly. this trend like we kill those animals. Yes, we have to stop this rapidly growing madness. Yeah, is it, like, there would have been no vegans back like 50 no, years ago. Like, that all. It's, it's very yeah, more popular. No, no. I think, like, the hippie movement the was just oh, hippie strong. <laughs> okay, maybe 100 <laughs> years. I'll go 100 yeah, years, yeah. not 50 years. Well, no, even no, so. If you go before then, there would have been people who didn't have any animals in their region. So yeah. they were they forced to eat like whatever food they have in their area. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Then they could just like, eat, they just eat like stuff that isn't even food. Like I got no problem well, like, with veganism. Like veganism. I got it people is wearing food. veganism like, as like bed. Trees. Yeah, like, like leaves. Just eating stuff. trees and bark. But like, like, is it everything's like, we just if choose there's, what's food. But if there's yeah. trees and stuff, there you will be animals as well. Like, there can be no, like that, that was an example are. from Paul. Like, Antarctica. There's just ice. Like. No, you so get they no, eat the because ice. penguin polar seals eat penguins and polar bears. There's Arctic foxes eating penguins and birds. They're still meat eating meat. In the middle of Africa, then. In the middle of Africa, like, lions eating. Sahara Desert. Yeah. Lizards eating like bugs and like you know camels eating bugs. <laughs> 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 bugs just have a really bad time. <laughs> yeah, but still like reptiles out there all eat each other. So there you go. Uh, anyway, so come on guys, you know we got to band together and help the vegans. You know, message in with the Tom Wallace page. Uh, give me he- any helpful ideas. The <laughs> vegans, let, let them know, know there's meat, meat out there. there. Anyway, so uh, any helpful <laughs> ideas or suggestions, you know, we'll do our best to help. Maybe start up society or something. Yeah, so in honor of these uh, poor That's lost souls, I have written a poem for veganism. So uh, this I call a call to vegans, or a call to the vegans. What one? Yeah. <laughs> the vegans, the plural, the, the group of them. So... Here's no, which title? You said two <laughs> titles. <laughs> you can't. It's, it's the latter. You can't like. You can't come out with a movie and say it's it's this or this. All People right, aren't gonna it's know. It's the what, latter. They'll go to the cinema and be like, ah. Uh, <laughs> it's the latter. Is that two different movies? Call to is the vegans. Is that two different poems, Sean? Huh? No, it's actually one poem called "Call to the Vegans." Okay. Okay. I'm glad so. we got that sorted out. So, <clears throat> here's to the vegans, the world's only sons and daughters who abstain from produce of the slaughter. For them, we must strive to help them find their way before they have to pay. Although they do not know it, all the animals do not care, for this is why they're reared. So imagine you were told, son, you will be a movie star, but then never got that far. This, the life of a pig, who never saw the chopping block, or became that one fine pork chop. So to our brothers free of meat, come, enjoy this mighty feast. It is just the flesh of the beast. That was that was, that was a poem. That was a poem. That well, that rhymed. <laughs>
in parts. That, that in parts, that in parts that rhymed in other parts. I, I like I, I, used, I liked it that it only rhymed in certain parts, in yeah. other parts it I didn't. used an A B B structure the whole way through. Ab. Like I, no, not A B B A, just A B B. A B Ab. <laughs> ab. 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 Because I love abs. Anyway, cause so yeah, eating. vegans, you know, who's ever out there, you know, help yourselves because we want to help you as well. So, you know, there's meat everywhere. Just go down to the shop, go to a new bar even, but get yourself some goujons and chips. Yeah. You'll, I guarantee you, you'll love it. And any vegans that decide to convert to meat, e- meat eating ism, there'll be a Domino's voucher in, the, in store for the next week, possibly <laughs> to win. So, uh, two weeks, maybe. Two weeks, maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. 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 Possibly. Maybe. <laughs> Pro- probably not. Pro- maybe. Tara and Eve, <laughs> you don't go, don't go say it until we get it <laughs> confirmed. All right, so um, our only listeners. That was <laughs> <laughs> shout out to you guys. <laughs> anyway, then yeah, that was the Challenge Society. Um, we're gonna go back into another song, and we're coming back. We'll have Harry's Helping Hand and the Wiki Wacky Quiz. So, uh, Squirty McFlizzle, uh, what's the what's on the song list? Uh so what do you get when you add the legal drinking age of an American? And one. Anybody? Anybody? 22. 22. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what that was. Sorry. 22, Taylor Swift. Here we go. <laughs> And we are back with the Tom Wallace show. We're going straight into Harry's helping hand with our advice guru and life expert, Harry Sunderland. So, um,. First question coming straight in from um, she she le- didn't left a name but left a nickname called the handler. Um, okay, so she what? What does she handle? I she it's, um, she she has <laughs> my wife wants to eat her placenta. Is it okay if she's a vegan? Sean, I think you might be able to weigh oh, in on this. Oh, wonderful. Topic. Um, yeah. well, I say go ahead because you know meat is good for you. I say all vegans should eat meat. So, and cannibalism doesn't count ca- doesn't count for veganism. It's, 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 it's yeah. Does biting your nails count as you know breaking veganism? Well, na- nails is like ex- nails like extra skeleton, so it doesn't really count. Well, you're not allowed to drink milk. It's anything that comes from an animal. Anything that comes from an animal, yeah. you're not allowed to eat. That's true, yeah. Yep. Mm. So just, if the placenta has nails, don't eat it, though. <laughs> but the, the placenta itself is fine, is it? There you go, the handler. If your placenta had nails, I'd be very, very worried. But um, I've, I've seen worse. Yeah. Weirder. All right, so... Um, teeth, teeth can grow in tumours, so... Um, nails can grow in placenta. Th- someone must have, like... Send out a memo that people like asking questions only put in like usernames, not the real names. I don't know how I feel about it, but I just yeah, no, these are all from Twitter, so these are their Twitter handles. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, Does that makes sense. So, um, BMX for life uh, wants to know: Is there a spell to become a mermaid that actually works? Uh, no, there isn't a spell. Um, there's no working spells in this version of the universe. Um, you fool. What version are we in it right now? Version two point eight. Seven point oh. Oh jeez, I, I have an update in a long time. I no, saw exactly. the update there last week. It's brilliant. Yeah. So um, colors really pop. My Wi-Fi doesn't work since my last update though. <laughs> when did when did the last update? I think I was seven. Yeah. Oh, so you're way behind. Man, you, you need to reboot. Man, you'll you have you have you three have upgrades from now. You can try alcohol. You have insta- what? <laughs> you, have, you haven't even installed the puberty update yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, what does that do? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, Bailey T wants to know how do you tell how how do you tell which side she spelled which wrong? How do you spell which side of a potato chip is saltier? Um, I'd say you lick one side of it, um, then taste it. If you didn't do that already, then determine the level of saltiness on the bacon scale. Um, the in case you're not familiar with the bacon scale, one is broccoli, uh, ten is being e- extra crispy bacon. But ten not to be salt, just like no, 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 no. That's no. named after Henry Bacon, isn't yeah, it? Henry yeah, Henry Bacon, uh, Henry Alfred Bacon, though, not to be confused. Oh with. yeah, because yeah. there's another. There's the yeah, other one was a murderer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he killed all those uh, Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> right, John. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, lick one side of it, determine what it's um, what it's like on the bacon scale, uh, then um, proceed to taste the other side. Although usually it will end up being a bit soggy from licking the other side, but try to do it quickly and you'll be fine. Mm. Soggy bacon doesn't, doesn't sound that great. No. Um, Liz, just Liz, wants to know, how can I lose weight without moving? And she had a comment, I don't like to move and I'm allergic to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. Looks like you're in a pickle there, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she's allergic to pickles too. She can start veganism. Uh. <laughs> Burn. She can't get much lower than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd say don't eat any food uh, or come to Ireland because we don't have much sun and that would be good. 
Sick burn on the weather, bruh. Burn. Because we don't have... All right. Um, <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Kool-Aid wants to know, why is my sperm so powerful? I, I, I he, he adds to his question, I only live with my girlfriend for four weeks, but the doctor says she is four months pregnant. How did my sperm <laughs> become so potent? That is exceptionally powerful sperm, I think. Uh, fair play to you. Um, if we have to repopulate, I know who to go to. Unfortunately, uh, I have to, hate to break it to you, but I don't think... Um, it was actually you. What? It. No. What? I think. I think. I, the, I don't think it was the logistics it of it is just. Mm. The I've heard of. I've heard of. Uh, the, the math is all wrong. I've heard of two months, but four months. That's a push. The equations don't add up. Thanks, Professor. Help, <laughs> Professor. Um, he we have our resident professor. He stays in the radio studio all the time, and if we ever need facts, he just yells them out for us. Thanks, Professor. This, this is the first time he's actually chimed in <laughs> uh, the last year and a half. But like, <laughs> well, he's really old. It's he sleeps a lot of the time. It's only when he's really necessary. necessary. All right. So, um, last question here. Wake, Waikiki uh, wants to know: Can you lose your virginity if you fall? Fall over what? That's what I know. Like, if if, if a girl falls over like onto a penis. Uh, yeah, if you fall day. onto a penis, or if you're a man and you fall into a vagina. Uh, oh, she she adds a comment here. Um, I do that all the time. My friend and I have been debating about it because I, f- I, f- I fall I falled yesterday. <laughs> she <laughs> writes she writes I falled. Uh, she fell yesterday, and I think that made her lose her virginity. Yeah, um, I think she thinks virginity is like a gadget that she ho- has in her pocket or something. <laughs> gadget. Yeah, <laughs> like her phone. Yeah, something like that, man. Because, like, how would you lose it by falling over? Maybe that's just, like, a, a, oh. an off-brand Android Oh, so she cell actually phone. just lost it. She had like, hurt it. It could be, like, a button on her clothes, and when she fell, the button fell off. No, it's, or it's like an, an off-brand like an Android, Android cell phone. phone. That she had it in her pocket, and she fell, and now it's not there. Oh, that's it. Virginia. Or like, and or she's or wondering if it's actually possible it's to lose it like Chinese that. Chinese manufacturer. Yeah. Or, like, an earring or something. That she just buy an iPhone. Don't, actually. Don't. don't. My lovely hooped virginity earrings. Do you know what it was? It was... She lost... One of those purity rings, because it was her. It was her the ring. Jonas oh, Brother ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was, yeah. She lost her virginity. She lost her virginity ring. Yeah, so I got six of them. I have two go. more left before I lose my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Best luck with that, Sean. Yeah, <laughs> one of them's a tattoo. Well, you don't think you got the joke? Because each time I, I took a ring off. And yeah, but one of them's permanent. <laughs> that means oh, I just sick no. burns. Yeah. Oh God damn it! Oh. Oh God. Oh God! It's happening oh. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> failing you what did you do to him again uh, yeah. um, I think that's all the questions we yeah, have civic duty that's the so um, we hope oh wait shout out to Neve Moore and 2 for listening and Dan Woo! O'Connor Woo! if they are listening <laughs> please <laughs> please please stay please all listen right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway so um, that was that uh, coming up out of this we'll have the weekly wacky quiz so going back into a song squirty my fly is tizzle What's going? What's on next? Stuff, my my homie, Broseph. Right. Boy, Broseph Joseph. Broseph Joseph. Right. Uh, that would have worked. Uh, Introduce the song. <laughs> okay, right. I'm so sorry. Uh, coming up right now, we have the opposite to Beyonce's "Crazy in Love" is called "Accidentally in Love" by Counting Crows, apparently. That was Accidentally Loved by Counting Crows. And now we're going into the weekly wacky quiz coming up, coming off the back end of the the very the, 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 the varied version of the weekly wacky quiz, which was um, between Team Squirty Harry. So um, how do you think, how's the aftermath? That, like, is there any kind of divide in the group after our Harry whooped DJ Squirty Fly in the previous quiz? I don't think so. No. I think I'll, uh, there, I'll just be answering all of the questions from yeah. now on. There's a togetherness in the group that hasn't gone. That's away. I was listening back to that, and um, neither you <laughs> were on the game on the ball for that quiz. <laughs> yeah, there was some that we were like, mm. you see, the, what the questions I took, like I didn't think of straight away. I was just like passed because ho- I was like thinking, hopefully Paul stuttering wouldn't. Like, <laughs> get it was confusing <laughs> you with a stutter. <laughs> yeah. I'll have you know I read out every single question perfectly. Oh, okay. Sorry. Also, I did get those uh, four elements, by the way. <laughs> you didn't. I did. You didn't. Uh, you, you listened back, right? Uh, you didn't. <laughs> I did. You mm, didn't. Man, I listened back. It was it's it's in set in stone that you did not. No, I did. I'll take it to the appeal board. Screw all y'all. <laughs> well, the, the appeal board is our host, so yeah. take it a poll. 
and I'll you take mean, you mean Tom Wallace, and I'll take it right back. Well, you have to go through Paul to get to Tom Wallace. It's no, a it's a no. hierarchy thing. All right, no, anyway, we, we can sort all this out like <laughs> later, but we have, we have a we have a I quiz got to that do. Question, right. um, as as a as a welcome back present to Sean and Phelan, I'll let them have the first question. We go first anyway. We're the silly, silly path, path quiz, quiz team. team. Uh, that's true. That's true. Okay, so um, first question okay. is: Out of bones, muscle, fat, and cartilage, which never stops growing in the human body? Sorry, bones, muscle, what and what? Fat and cartilage. Bones, muscle, fat, and cartilage. I know that one. Word. I think it'd be one of the Word. two, like muscle or Words. Uh, fat. Fat, you can always grow fat. Like, it's always growing. It n- never yeah. stops growing. Come on, guys, it's easy. Time, time, time. Tick tock. What do you want to go for? Tick tock, um, tick tock. I'll let you take TikTok. this one. Just play, play the countdown timer. Go. That takes too much ever. <laughs> play the last 10 seconds of the countdown. You go fat. <laughs> yeah, sure. Fat. All right, go fat. Wrong. That is wrong. The answer is cartilage. Damn it. Does the yeah. question not pass over, no? No. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> we never When does that, that ever happen? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, last week we had a different quiz as well. So. We got to introduce yeah. it. Screw the rules. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming over to the uh, Team Squirty Harry. Um, which color M&M replaced the previous, but not, not there anymore, tan colored M&M tan. In, in, in 1995? So which of the current colored M&Ms replaced didn't tan? Exist, like didn't, it didn't exist. It didn't, didn't exist before, exist tan. before, before 1995. I'd say it was a, si- a, cl- a, a color similar to tan because it wouldn't have... Like orange, should it bring in orange or bring in yellow? What? Yellow was there a while though. Is it? it? Yeah. Blue or green, and browns there now, and red. Is brown that it? Brown. So there's brown M&Ms. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, would brown replace tan? We we'll go with brown. No, well, sure. We don't really know. So I we'll just I guess I brown. I, I, I hate. That's a, that's an impossible. Yeah, we we'll go with brown. <laughs> that's an impossible. It's not really really impossible. Like you have the, you have the options in front of you. It's like one out of like the f- four yeah, or five. Yeah, true. But cartilage, cartilage is one out of three, and that's much, no, there much, is much one easier. Out, one out of four actually. One out of four, but it's a much easier answer. Anyway, well, fat through me. Like you can lose fat, but you can also get like. No, but it's always growing. Fat isn't always growing. No, yeah, but it's. I, I, that question fat shouldn't have been in with the rest of them. I feel like so that threw me off. All right, so what's the point of the? You know what really throws me off. Fat. <laughs> That's nice. Anyway, what's That's your nice what's your answer for the question? Brown. 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 Yeah, the answer is blue. Oh, right. oh so, uh, losers. So oh, oh, somebody call the ambulance. They're about <laughs> to cry. Oh, 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 Order in the studio. That's good luck. Couscous, eh? That's good luck. Couscous, eh? Right, Bonne chance is good luck. Coming, coming back to uh, the Silly Black Quiz team for the second round. That's what, us. What is the only mammal that is unable to jump? Unable to jump? Yeah. Are cows able to jump? No, a cow could jump like a horse. Um, <laughs> well, bats fly. Does that kind of jump? No, it doesn't. Um, Failing after a few drinks. Oh. A sloth? Burn. I jump higher than ever. A sloth or a koala? Or no, a koala is marsupial. So I'm going with a sloth, maybe. You thinking a sloth? Sloths c- aren't, no. Well, they can't jump. Does a fall count as a jump? A fall? Yeah. Um, like, maybe if they propel no, themselves. No, no, they have to, they have to push no. off the ground. Like yeah, yeah, they have to push off the ground, so a sloth definitely could not push off the ground. Can't yeah. So I'm going with sloth, maybe, yeah? Yeah, whatever. That is wrong. The answer is elephants. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've seen an jump. elephant jump. You know what, Paul? Until you show me a video I have sloth. seen an elephant jump. Where? <laughs> Onto the back In of another elephant. In a dream sequence. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Paul, I actually want to see a video of a sloth jumping. Everyone was talking backwards, okay. and the elephants were jumping. Everyone knows Dumbo. I've seen it, Paul. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, my, well, according to my source, elephants is the They told one. me the gum I like is going to come back in fashion. The owls are not what they seem. I, All right, so I'm moving on. Still no, still no question answered correctly. Coming back to uh, the... I feel like that's a running theme in our show. Uh, what American city was Walt, si- Walt Disney born? I have not... A I'll, g- I'll give you... Two guesses at this because it's a fairly hard question. Oh, Impossible but you know, there's there's oh. thousands of mammals and we only got one guess. <laughs> one guess, Paul. But like, it's just random. Just guess there's way random less cities party. in America than there right. are mammals like, on the planet. Like, no, it's not. It's not New York. Wow. Wow. It's, wow. Not, it's, it's, not, not, one, it's not one. It's not one city, city in all of America. We need, we need questions that we can actually l- work out logically, not just <laughs> you know it or you don't. There's know. a clue in this room. Oh, what the, well, we didn't get any close. I feel well, like there's, there's unfair loads treatment. Of records. Always. L.A. Los Angeles. 
I gotta push it for an hour. Okay, for letters. all you listeners, I'm gonna in detail describe the room from top to bottom. Oh. Right at the roof, we have, it's kind of circular. Right. There's some I need to push you for an answer. That's actually it's a circular roof. We got really spotlights, but many of them too. are off. There's also a fire alarm. And then moving down, we we have black Please. felt covering so the walls, cool. most of the walls. I'll, I'll tell you right. where it's all not. All right, covered. fan. I think they have an answer here. Uh, L.A. Los Angeles. No, the answer is Chicago. Oh, oh the clue oh, is oh. failing. I was thinking it wasn't L.A. Yeah. Whoa. All right, so coming back to uh, still not still no. How is it? oh? I'm the clue. I'm the clue. Yeah. Okay. That <laughs> the, coming back to uh, the city black quiz team. Still no qu- question answered correctly. It's probably one of the poorest quiz we've ever done. It's um, probably one of the poorest questions. Yeah, it's part. pretty oh. yeah, the, other. <laughs> the city of lights is a nickname for which American, wh- which European city? European city. city so of question the city of no lights. Or you don't know. Yeah, um, all of them are like buzz. That. Well, that's th- isn't that every quiz ever? No. Yeah, I don't know the question or you don't. No, you can work it out. You can work it out. What yeah. are you thinking? I have no idea. I'm making an educated guess. Barcelona. Barcelona. Final answer? Yeah, sure. No, it's Paris. It's no, Paris. It, it, Paris is a city of love. I was going to say Paris, and then I was like, no, wait, that's a city of love. Fail, and that'd be a city yeah, of life. So there's no life. logic I say in we give, these answers. I say we give Paul negative six points yeah, for this, <laughs> this quiz. Paul gets negative well, I don't six. get points anyway, so you can't, yeah, well, you can't you, take away points. Now you do, now you and do. now you have none. All right. You know what? Next week, we might ask the teams might ask each other questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming over to uh, uh, teams where you are, you're going to have to speed this up a little bit. How many capsules does the London Eye have? Capsules. So capsules are a little like yeah yeah yeah. Going to more, <laughs> yeah yeah more than twelve I'd say. I'll give yeah. you a oh. le- I'll give you a leniency of five. Oh, what? what five? Okay. Jesus. No. <laughs> a twenty four. Uh. More thirty. Is the one we go twenty seven? Yeah. We go twenty seven. Yeah. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. The answer is thirty two. By the yeah, that's, that's, that's so five. Yeah. That's five. You get Perfect. Perfect. Yes. All right. Uh, final yes. round. Quick by round for. Uh, the city black quiz teams to try to get level. Um, this is again. This is probably like a very loose question. So, uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hell's the breeze, my friend. I know. Hell's the breeze. It is why it is widely accepted. I don't accept that it. That humans only use what percentage of their brains? Ten percent. Ten percent is right. Oh, I, did, I, I didn't know that was open to everyone, but. <laughs> It was the quick fire round. He didn't make that explicit. He said it I in passing. I said Blair. Yeah, he did. Wait, no, Sean said it first. Oh, I said yeah, first. I got it. And I also said the answer. You can't do it now. Okay. Right, so, so that's a draw that's that's again. A, that's a draw. That's a draw. That's a draw. Again. We're all equal. Yes, equality. Yeah, equality. Except all right. for vegans. Somebody, some, some, we're getting messages. How do you try to check the messages? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we can get messages in the studios. Yeah. And, uh, All right, so, um, we'll sort that out for next week. So we're going to <laughs> we're gonna have to wrap it up now. When we, we may be giving away a Domino's voucher, so get you and Not your friends to listen in. Or maybe, maybe week after. But you want to listen in next week to know that for sure. Unconfirmed rumor. Unconfirmed rumor. <laughs> All right, God, so we got to talk. <laughs> we won't be on next week because it's reading week. We'll be on the week after. Debatable. Wednesday. Debate. None of this is Rumor, set. rumor. Wednesday, 1 o'clock. Rumor has it. From all of us, from all of us. See you later. Alright.